Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Charles, my beautiful little sweet here in Kragujevac, Serbia, former capital of Serbia here. Uh, I came down here to work with some students. Uh, I've got some students we're sending to the USA. So I came down here to work with them to help them on their US embassy interviews and some different things. And I decided to come to a beautiful little hotel. I wanted to show a little bit about just a random hotel but a beautiful one. This is a suite. I've got a little uh, suite here uh, in a place called Hotel Emma. And Hotel Emma, if you know anything about Kragujevac, there's a big clinic, like hospital type place. It's right across the street from that. On Smajovina, I believe, is the name of the street. Uh, so I remembered it because where I live in Novi Sad is right on Smajovina, which is a walking street. You notice when you come to Serbia, so many of these street names, uh, road names and everything like that, they're all the same. Uh, they're all named after Serbian heroes and Serbian military people, politicians and all that thing. And you can tell I'm in a different part of Serbia because look what I'm drinking. I've never heard of this before. It's only 4.2% alcohol, but it was only 56 dinara here in Kragujevac, Serbia. Kragujevac is located right in the center of Serbia, former capital, like I said, of, of, of Serbia. Uh, but this is called Sarkško Pivo. Oh, I hate it when somebody calls me when I'm trying to do something. Uh, Tsarsko Pivo, I guess is what it's called. It's owned by Tuborg, uh, or Carlsberg, sorry. Uh, but it's like 56 dinara, so it's pretty cheap. Uh, anyhow, came down here work with some kids. It's chilly. It was warm today, but it's chilly now. I just went out and bought me a um, some good grub to eat here in my little kitchenette here in this place, and I want to show you around just an idea of how nice this little place is and, and what you get. So I've got this beautiful little couch, beautiful decor. I mean, they, they uh, have the place all decked out really nicely. I mean, it's very modern looking. Uh, uh, the water is hot. The internet is great. The Wi-Fi is good. There's three or four different... Um, three or four different networks you can use if one of them the open one doesn't work well she'll hook you up with the others you come with a little kitchenette here you've got a mini bar here you've got a lot of stuff in it so I'm gonna show you around anyway it's so beautiful I hate to leave and go back to my ghetto pad in Novi Sad so let me show you as I'm drinking this 4.2 percent crappy thing people not crappy but it, there's just not, not much to it anyway let's take a peek at what a suite looks like. I'll take you from the door first of all. When you come in the door, here's what you see. There's my little bag. You've got a little place for your stuff. And you walk in here to the mirror. Get your little couch. Beautiful little table. The walls are really pretty. They did a lot to them. It's very lighted. You got a lot of nice little light fixtures. And then you get your little kitchenette thing over here. And man, you got to see what I'm getting ready to eat. I got a Kara Georgia with Snitchla on uh, bread and a bunch of palm frit, which isn't going to go good for my diet, but I don't care. You got a TV with a swivel that comes out on the wall. So you can stick it over here when you go to bed and look at this bed man this is something I miss from the United States because so many of the places I go here in Serbia uh, that I've moved into I, I live in the usually the cheaper places but they come with a couch that you have to pull out this has a beautiful big bed it's quiet in here beautiful green backlit with some drop-down lighting got a lot of closet space here and you got your little kitchenette over here so you can make yourself some coffee You've got a uh, cook top here if you want to cook and prepare something. You've got a nice little mini bar. This is so convenient. You've got energy drinks. You've got beer. You've got candy bars. You've got kikiriki, which is the word I hate the most in Serbian language, which is peanuts. And some soda. you got the prices here, too. So you can see, before you spend all your money on it, how much it's going to be. It's actually pretty cheap, too, for a mini bar. You get for still podesta dinara for a bitter lemon, uh, but kikiriki is only like 80 dinara. I didn't think it was that expensive, but it's a nice place. Comes with some silverware in here for you, so you can prepare whatever you want to prepare. You 
You got some wine glasses in there for your little lady. You got some pots and pans. And my friends, that's it. Beautiful place though, I'm so impressed with this. It's got carpet all throughout. No stains, no nothing in here. Very, very upscale looking place. It doesn't take long to get from the center of uh, Kragujevac to here. It's a nice little jaunt. There's a lot of great little food places right around the corner. Uh, I grabbed right across the street, since there's a hospital, there's a lot of um, little places you can go fast food wise. And here it is, how it is in Serbia. This is the light, as you know, I always say this, it's on the outside, <laughs> which is strange for Westerners. And then you gotta turn on your water heater. So this is, this is something that's hard for Americans to get used to, because we don't usually do that. But it's so energy efficient. Uh, it doesn't take long to heat it up. I'll show you when I get inside. And this is like a heater, I think. So you got three of them there. But here's a bathroom, really pretty bathroom. Let me get it focused nicely. There's your little vanity. It comes with all sorts of little soaps, glasses, toilet paper, nice marble tile on the walls. And you got your, this is a little different than, than some of the toilets here. You know, I showed some of them like my old apartment. This little back toilet was like way up there, but this one's a little bit different. It's all clean and sanitized. They've got the thing over it. And then a nice little stand up shower. And you got towels on the bed I showed you. Nice and clean. I, you know, I'm kind of picky when I, when I go into a really nice place and look around. This is absolutely flawless, really. And there is the water heater up there. You know, you turn it on the outside, and it's got a little orange dealy there. I'll tell you whenever it's finished. Anyway, my friends, that's what we've got here. Hotel Emma. They've got a spa downstairs. They was going to walk me down to it and show me that tonight, but I've got some other things to do, so I don't have time to do it. But it's got a place you can have room service delivered up to you. That's the name of the place, Emma Hotel, Garney. Garney is like a big company. They have a lot of hotels, I've noticed that. I see that name on all sorts of things. But uh, really beautiful place, so if you ever get a chance to come to Kragovac, it's right outside, right by the clinic here. Beautiful, beautiful place, and a good price. You know, you can get, you can get a smaller version of this for like 30, 30, 40 euros, all the way to 50, 60 euros. Uh, but you got a lot of room, good internet, good cable here. It's got like 60 channels. Great place, beautiful. Something you wouldn't really expect, or I expected. I shouldn't say that. But more than you bargained for. Great place, awesome staff. They speak English, very friendly people. And that's it, my friends. Do Virginia.